Welcome back, Business 163 Personal Finance. Hey, you made it all the way to the end of this module. All right, this is our eighth and last video lecture in the module. And this is some final thoughts about budgeting for you as you uh, digest all the material in this module and then get about the assignment of creating your own monthly personal budget. All right, so you can see here in the first title slide, final budgeting thoughts. So uh, let me just tell you right up front, budgeting's hard. It's not fun. It's not easy. It's not fast. Um, while it feels very satisfying when you finally finish it, doing it is not fun. And quite frankly, saying no to yourself is never easy. Even if it's for a good end at the end, in the long term, in the meantime, it's never easy, right? Quite frankly, if self-control and self-discipline were easy, every single one of us would be in great physical shape and have already accomplished most of our highest goals. But that's not quite how life works. It's hard. Self-control and self-discipline are hard. Creating a budget and sticking to it and living with that budget is hard work. Quite frankly, one of the things that makes budgeting hard is a lot of our life is already fixed and will remain fixed in that way unless there is a lot of life change. And for some of us, our lives demand a lot of life change to uh, really make some good progress along the, our financial health. But it also means a lot of where we struggle the most is with the little stuff. The little stuff is where we struggle a lot. Little stuff like research confirms that, well, quite frankly, little stuff like eating out is one of the biggest financial regrets that people have. The only bigger regret that some people have, research says the biggest regret is paying too many bank fees. More on that when we hit the whole module on banking, right? Another way that people find the little stuff gets really expensive Nowadays, delivery apps, delivery food apps, incredibly expensive when you total it all up. Do you realize how much more money you're spending having someone else deliver that food to you rather than just driving out there yourself or, heaven forbid, cooking yourself a meal, right? So uh, one of the best things you can do for yourself, quite frankly, and it's really inconvenient, right, is to delete all your delivery apps or at least restrict the number of times you're going to let yourself use it each month or restrict the number of times you let yourself eat out, right? A big principle in this, quite frankly, hidden in this, restrict the amount of money you spend on yourself and prioritize spending on others. That will revolutionize your spending and your budgeting, quite frankly, right? Now, where is all this going? Well, as you will see, your number one assignment in this module, uh, and I'm going to give you two weeks to do this, is to create your own monthly budget. You're going to create your budget. I've given you a lot of tools, several videos, lots of resources for you to consider, all sorts of different methodologies. Because as I stated at the very beginning of this module, we do not believe there's one right way to budget. Right? And one of these methods is prob probably already beginning to appeal to you, perhaps more than one. And maybe there's one method out there that we've mentioned that you're thinking, oh, that, that may work for some people. I'm pretty sure that would never work for me. So you're already beginning to process that and make some selections. So what I want you to do is dive into the material in this module and learn about each method that you feel might work for you. Next thing you're going to do after you've learned sufficiently about each of those methods, you're going to choose your method and you're going to land on a particular type of budgeting method. Maybe you're going to use it right out of the description. Maybe you're going to modify it a little bit, right? Maybe you're going to combine some principles. But uh, once you've established a method, I want you to create your monthly budget. Now, again, as we mentioned in the very first video, you might decide first you're going to dive into your historical spending over the last three months, figure out where you've been spending your money. Or perhaps you're going to take path two and say, forget about where I've been spending money. I'm just starting from scratch. I know how much money comes into the door every month, and I'm going to use that to create my categories and build my budget. However you do it, the assignment is 
to create your monthly budget. And we are actually going to share that with the rest of the class. And, and I, I want to be very careful here and tell you right up front, this will be in the assignment as well, of course, but you will, are not being asked to share your numbers. What we want to see is the structure that you have created for yourself, all right? Uh, and you're going to talk a little bit about why that budget, you think that will work for you. I'm not asking you to publish your income numbers or your spending numbers. In fact, you can gray that all out or delete it, right? Maybe it's just your categories. Maybe you don't want to be that specific for the rest of the class. It's not up to you. I'm not looking for you or asking you to publish your business, so to speak, right? But what I want you to confirm is that you in two weeks have completed this assignment. You have completed and prepared a personal monthly budget. And to be able to talk a little bit about why you believe this will work for you, why you are hopeful for the future, how you think this will help to accomplish and uh, establish some of the goals, uh, what habits you may have to change, all those kinds of things, right? Not looking to see the, uh, the, abs the exact numbers, but really to see that you have done the hard work through this module of uh, working through the different budgeting methods and landing on one that might work for you, all right? Now, one last word of encouragement to you as we end up this module. Uh, this is a quote from Dave Ramsey. Could have been from anybody, but I think this is a really great quote. A budget is telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. That is incredibly encouraging to me. I hope it's encouraging to you as well, right? A budget is not a set of handcuffs. It's not uh, a set of uh, constraints or limits to place on you to make you feel uncomfortable every month. No, it's taking control of your financial life. It's taking control of where your money is spent. It's telling your money where to go rather than wondering at the end of the month, how come I don't have any money and I wonder where it all went. So I hope that's helpful and encouraging to you. Thanks so much for working through all the bits and pieces of this module. We'll see you in the next module.